family so I'm back and today what I'm going to be doing is a very highly requested video um, some of you guys may know if you follow me on Twitter that just recently I started doing a detox and essentially the reason why I started doing it was because I told you guys a while ago in a previous video that I was having a few health issues particularly with my stomach um, just to give you guys a brief synopsis of what was going on um, essentially I at my job so at my job, we decided to be greedy and before Thanksgiving have a pre-Thanksgiving potluck. Um, in the end, I it was the only one eventually that wound up with food poisoning or to the extremity and I was sick for like three days straight. Um, thereafter, basically my stomach didn't pretty much recuperate from it and my stomach essentially wasn't working. So um, I went to the doctor a number of times, they did millions of tests and couldn't figure out what it was. Eventually, I went to a gastrologist. They told me I had gastroparesis, which essentially means delayed stomach emptying. So, whereas one person, it would take them maybe an hour to dissolve an egg sandwich, it took me about six or seven. So, that's what was going on with me. So, after tons of medication, things like that, I just said, I'm tired of it. You know, it's not working. Let me go to an herbalist which I wound up going to um, someone that my mother's worked with for a long time. Her name is Mrs. Alice Freeman, and she's actually based out of Richmond, Virginia, where I am. And when I went to her, told her my symptoms, she said, I'm going to fix you up. And I've been on this now for a week, and I feel amazing, guys. So um, basically, and I'm going to show you her picture and her information. This is her, Miss Freeman, the long, luscious locks there. And this is her contact information, but I'll list all this information below. But the name of her company, sorry, it got dark, <laughs> but the name of her company is Healthy Hearts Plus, and she specializes in just natural healing and natural health and things of that nature. Um, so in the beginning, I'm doing the detox for an entire month. Like I said, this is almost a week now. And after I do that, I'm actually going to get a colonic. So basically I'm going to show you guys, just to give you a brief overview, not the full information, but I'll list her website so you guys can go on and order. And hopefully once I get with her, if you guys um, post a, you know, certain, get a certain amount of orders, hopefully we can work out some type of discount or something. So be on the lookout for that. This is basically the packet that she gave me. This is the Body Cleansing Detox. And what this essentially contains is a tea bag for each week. It's actually two tea bags in each one. One tea bag makes up to two quarts of tea. And then also there are pills as well. So this is what everything looks like. I've already, like I said, almost done with week one, so I don't have that bag to show you guys. But these are the remaining weeks two, three, and four. Now each of the pills look different. So like for instance, this is week two, and the pills are kind of circular. But my first one, I actually did it, and they were oval shaped on my first week. Now week three right here, this is the tea bag, and I have these pills. And I'm going to tell you in a minute what each packet does. And then week four, and the pills are circular again. So all of them are used for different things. Now according to the back of the box, basically it says week one cleanses the digestive system, so basically going into your stomach, cleansing out that colon as much as possible. Um, now the second one basically states that it removes excess water from the tissue. So basically um, the tissues that are in your body that has all that extra gook and gook stuck to it or what have you, it goes through and cleanses that. So it's going to be more uh, water flowing through your body rather than bile as the first week. Um, the third week moves from the lymphatic system. So basically all around your major organs up here, you know, around here. And then especially like for women, you know, my breast is definitely good for that as well to, to unclog any of that additional excess fat that's around there or just that old stuff that's in there. Um, and the last one is basically to cleanse the blood and restore oxygen to the body. So that one is going to be a mixture of both, she said, bowel movements and fluid flowing through. With this packet, again, it contains the tea and the pills, but again, it's going to cleanse different things and you have to drink it and take the pill both day and night. So I'm going to kind of go over with you guys briefly some of the um, foods that are required and basically the foods that you should stay away from. Each week basically the food does change again because it is cleansing different parts of the body. I'm just going to go over the things that you necessarily need. Now every single day of this detox it is required to have at least four fruits per day. 
in the morning with your breakfast you are required to have an apple of any kind it doesn't matter I actually get the gala apples my favorite <laughs> either the gala or the gala or the red delicious apple so once you're actually done with your lunch you want to actually eat the grapefruit and the grapefruit is actually going to also serve as an enzyme to break down some of your food as well and metabolize it a lot better once you're done with that, during the midday, you would actually eat a pear, which again is going to serve as a natural laxative to actually push all that extra stuff out. It's really tasty as well, this time of year for some reason. And the last thing that you are going to follow up with is at nighttime before you go to bed, is either a, an orange or a grapefruit. Either one, either or, but you have to eat a whole one. Now another thing with it, you are required to drink at least three cups of water with each meal so three cups with breakfast three with lunch and three with dinner you can't skip that by any means you have to um, another thing that I'm having to do with it is actually eat salads with both of both my lunch and my dinner now it will change starting on the second week and one of the great thing is is that Miss Alice does require you to come back to her or have a, some type of consultation with her before you move on to your next week and that's just so she can inform you of what's to happen. Now, I went to her today and she told me due to what was going on with me and she could actually see the overall difference in my skin and energy and all this stuff you know she told me that you know she wants to do actually two colonics on me so on next Wednesday I'm going to have a colonic done and then on the end of my fourth week, I'm going to have another one done. So colonic is great because everything that the tea or the pills can't get out, which essentially no pill or anything is going to be able to get out things that's been in there for years, the colonic is going to go back and do. So she's going to basically take a hose almost or like some type of um, thing. She's going to basically take that and basically inject water in me. That's going to basically go throughout my colon and your colon is about 14 feet long which a lot of people don't know which is essentially why colonic is def almost necessary to follow up with. But she's going to take the water shoot it up my colon and then basically she's going to pull everything out that's in there now again um you know she told me i had to delay stomach emptying now one thing that she did tell me um which to be honest it is kind of yucky i know you guys are going to say ill but it is part of the detoxing something that can't happen the main reason why i did get this done is because once she examined me she felt like i got a parasite from the potluck and essentially what happened is that's really what's causing my stomach to have these issues. Now I can tell you that since I've gotten on this detox I have not had stomach pain like but one day and I'm telling you I would have stomach pains like all day every day and in my videos like y'all may have noticed like they've been choppy but that's because like I may have to break in between because the pain was getting crazy but I, I promise like this is overall doing everything for me my energy my stomach I've already lost um, this is exactly my fifth day I've lost six pounds so I'm excited to see what else is gonna do and once that colonic comes in it's gonna wash everything else out um, but I'm going to give you guys basically just a brief overview of what I'm actually doing kind of on a daily basis for right now. And again, that's going to change by the week. But in the beginning of the detox for my breakfast, essentially what I would start off with is a cup of water. And also with the water, you are required to have a fresh lemon. Now, I actually initially went to the store and bought this, the lemon juice and brought it to her. And she was like, no, everything that you eat has to be live food. So live foods, meaning fruits, vegetables, anything that grows up from the trees or from a vine that's considered like you know living food so basically I would have to have the water a cup of water with lemon juice also I would have to have cereal um, and the cereal it does have to be specific but these are the two that I like because basically what she requires is for them to at least be 10 grams and this one I have the fiber one honey clusters this one has the most amount of fibers with 13 grams in it which is really good for digestion and then also have the Kellogg's fiber plus with antioxidants this one has 10 grams in it this one I prefer it's a lot better but it actually has yogurt pieces in it which was Alice does not like at all um, dairy so I take those out but yeah just quick thing as well dairy she said no dairy no breads no white anything like white salt white sugar anything like that because that can also cause bloating and also for you just to hold on to that excess weight so definitely not good so I'm staying away from that and also to go along with my cereal um, because again no dairy I'm actually using this silk vanilla milk right here I got it from Sam's in the three pack which was like six dollars which was awesome for this milk 
was it six? Yeah, it was six dollars. So I got the three of these. So I have that, and also, so I eat that. I eat the apple. I eat the cereal. I follow it with water, and then in the very end, I actually have melons. So that's breakfast. So on to lunch. So once I actually eat my lunch for this, um, for the first three days of it, basically you're not supposed to have any meat. So you can actually have a salad, and you can load it with as many vegetables as you want to. No limit on the salad. Also, you have your choice, and I'm sorry, you can't have minimal meat. Um, you can actually have your choice of tuna or a boiled egg, or two boiled eggs. So I prefer the boiled eggs over just raw tuna. I, I can't get down with that in my salad. But I'm eating that, and also basically what I would follow up with is, um, as stated before, the grapefruit. And then I have to eat red grapes and also some baby carrots with that as well. And then once I'm done with that, basically, like I said, my grapefruit. Then in the midday, I would eat my pear, and that would pretty much hold me until dinner. Now lastly for dinner, you can have meat. Now for this, you can actually have chicken or fish, whichever one that you prefer, but um, I switch it up, and the, the meats can be either baked, broiled, steamed, or, or grilled. That's what it is. But for the most part, I normally bake mine. I've grilled it like once, and um, when you're on something like this, like you begin to eat healthier. Like, you know, you can't have any sauce, but I went to like the health food store and bought like Buku seasonings, and it's making my food taste delicious. So at the end, I'm going to show you guys what I'm cooking now, because I'm actually cooking right now so I'll show you guys a picture of that but um that's essentially it and then like I said I have my salad and then we have to have at least two servings of vegetables living vegetables she also recommended that I take this iodine dietary supplement which is really good um, to flush your system and especially if you have a situation occurring like mine where she feels like I have a parasite but um, basically this is really, really, she recommended that I take the hydrochloric acid. Now as you, i um, not sure if you guys are took chemistry or biology or what have you, but basically the chloric is basically saying chlorophyll. And the reason why she recommended this is because with organisms being inside the body, what will happen is that those organisms can't live with that green stuff. So again, why she recommends the, the green foods, the living foods, but basically just to speed that up, basically she recommends recommended this which also has some other awesome properties with it as well oh yeah and I want to show you guys what I actually store my tea in so basically with the tea like I told you guys each week um, for instance this one week three has two packets of tea in it and pills now each packet of tea makes up to two quarts of the actual tea so basically what will happen is that you know boil the tea and basically put the bag in there and let that sit for a day so I purchased this at Dollar General for two bucks and use this and just drink this and this stuff combined with the pills and the eating will make you go to the bathroom. I'm going to tell you guys in advance if you're considering doing it. But you will go to the bathroom. I guarantee you. But just make sure that if you work or if you're out on a daily basis, just make sure that you kind of have that escape plan. Sorry, my food is boring. But just make sure you have that escape plan just in case you have to go to the bathroom. But... I know first people said, okay, isn't that going to be yucky? You don't want to go, but it's natural. Everybody goes to the bathroom, but I think for me, like, to have this situation going on and just for overall health condition, and then even if you want to kickstart weight loss, excellent, excellent, excellent. So I would recommend this to anybody. And, um, again, I'll list all Miss Alice's information below. If you're not located in Richmond, Virginia, still give her a call. Miss Alice is amazing. Um, definitely whatever issues you have, let her know, even if you email her, and they'll get back to you really, really quick. But um, I am so excited about this. And like I said, this is almost the end of week one. Once I'm actually done with the Kalani, I guess maybe you guys want to know an update on the Kalani. Just follow me on Twitter and I'll be telling you guys an update on the Kalani. But at the end of the four weeks, I'm going to come back at you guys and do a final update and review of everything. My weight loss, my overall energy, my stomach, all that good stuff. But if you guys have any questions or something that I left out that you may want to know, leave that below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.